Hello, three, two, one, we're here. Welcome to the Chrysalis number 32. This is a quarantine time cabaret that I have now, am now doing for the 32nd time. I believe that's right. Um, yep, from the same, somehow I do this from the same exact place in my house every single week and it's always like a circus of like trying a new way of setting up the lighting and the whatever. It's always different, it's never exactly what I want. It's beautiful. Welcome to the Chrysalis. My name is Rebecca Hart. This is a show where the production values are low and the artist is high. I'm just kidding. I'm not. I just like the way that sounded, which is also basically sums up my writing process. Um, happy Thanksgiving. This is the Chrysalis number 32. Thanks. Um, which I like. I was gonna, I think gratitude sounded too weighty. It was like the gratitude show. Like we were all gonna get out our notebooks and make gratitude lists, which I recommend. Um, Thanks is more just like short and sweet and like from the heart. And that is uh, what this set is today. I have a, like, I'm, I'm excited about this, I think short, but sometimes I say that and it's not. Um, eclectic and cool set that I'm putting together on the, the topic of thanks. How was your Thanksgiving? Feel free to let me know. I made a cake that did not fall apart, so I am winning. I am out ahead as far as I'm concerned. Um, I'm gonna start by reading something. Um, we all may or may not know, and actually, two things. One is that I'm gonna start by reading this poem, which is a love poem, so it's kind of piggybacking on the last two shows, which were love songs and more love songs, and I wanted to do something different this week. And as I was planning thanks, I was like, oh, you know, I never really got into, like, let's talk about ver different kinds of love, because they were mostly, like, you know, just love songs, like what you expect. And then I put together this set and it by itself kind of became a set of songs about different kinds of love, which I guess makes sense when you think about um, different kinds of gratitude. Um, so this poem, I also made fun of myself last week for doing a set of covers entirely by white men. Nothing wrong with that, except I was like, why not try not to do that this week? Um, and I did not intend to start out with two um, Native American artists, but I'm doing it. And the first one, you may know her as the poet laureate of the United States, Joy Harjo. Um, I know her as a really cool poet that my high school English teacher introduced me to, who I, I was completely psyched about. Went to see her perform her poems with her band, where she always also plays saxophone. I loved her writing so much. She's written a lot of meaningful poems, but this um, intimate small poem called Two Horses is the one that I fell in love with when I was like 16. Um, and so I'm gonna read it to you. I thought the sun breaking through Sangre de Cristo mountains was enough, and that long, and that wild musky scents on my body after long nights of dreaming could unfold me to myself. I thought my dance alone through worlds of odd and eccentric planets that no one else knew would sustain me. I mean, I did learn to move after all, and how to recognize voices other than the most familiar. But you must have grown out of a thousand years dreaming just like I could never imagine you. You must have broke open from another sky to hear because now I see you as part of the millions of other universes that I thought could never occur in this breathing. And I know you as myself traveling. In your eyes alone are many colonies of stars and other circling planet motion. And then your fingers, the sweet smell of hair and your soft, tight belly. My heart is taken by you. And these mornings, since I am a horse running towards a cracked sky where there are countless dawns breaking simultaneously, there are two moons on the horizon. And for you, I have broken loose. I bought this at the Dodge Poetry Festival a long time ago, and she autographed it for me. It says, for Rebecca in strength, beauty always, Joy Harjo. So again, winning this year. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanks show. Um, my name is Rebecca Hart. If you've never been here before, welcome. This is a weekly virtual quarantine time cabaret um, that I am doing. And every week we have a theme. We bring you a set of stories on that theme. That's This American Life. This is this show. Um, and I'm going to play some songs now. Um, so I have to admit, one of the things I love about doing this show every week is, is learning new artists and new songs in my, my 
uh, wanderings and research, exhaustive, usually um, last minute frenzied research for this show. And um, I got to admit, I did not know of the artist Martha Redbone. Um, and I definitely should have. She won um, a Drama Desk Award for Outstanding Original Music in a play for Intosake Shange's revival, the revival of For Color Girls. Um, she is, and I wrote this down because I didn't trust myself, um, Martha Redbone is of Cherokee, Choctaw, European and African American descent. She is an R&B and soul and blues singer who also mixes it up with traditions from her Native American ancestry. Um, she is badass. I've listened to a bunch of things and then I sort of fell in love with this song and I tip, I often, I'm told, get really fixated on a song that people are like, that's not the artist's best work. And I'm like, I know, but I can't stop singing it. So the song is totally stuck in my head. And another fun thing, so I'm gonna do it. Um, it's from her album, Skin Talk, and it's called Medicine Man. And um, another thing, I'm distracted by the lighting. I, can't, I just I can't do my own lighting. Um, another thing about this set that I put it together and I was like, oh, these are all kind of love songs still in a way, but they're also songs that are about something but could be about something else. So I just wanna dedicate this song, Medicine Man, to all of the therapists and healers and coaches and wise people that I know. So, and I know some of them are watching. So this is for you guys. <laughs> Some say he's running out of time A long day in the back of my mind Come gather round butterfly For the story of the medicine man Visions of rivers and trees Highways and deep blue seas Come gather round butterfly Better reach out for the medicine man Asleep all your life You live in a dream Don't wait until it's too late Sweet talk will make you feel fine Better reach out for the medicine man Long days in dirty rich streets Long walk on your warrior feet Show you the way to get by Better reach out for the medicine man Swallow your pride No one to blame Don't think you live in a dream Don't wait until it's too late Sweet talk will make you feel fine When you reach out for the medicine man All right, learn that. Usually I'm too lazy. This show is completely dedicated to and exists because of ultimateguitar.com and usually I can't learn, be, be arsed to learn things unless I can find the chords and the lyrics really easily. Could find neither of them. Learn the lyrics by holding my phone up like this. Um, the actual track on the album Skin, Folk, Skin Talk is um, basically like prog rock and it's just so cool. So Martha Redbone. She also has a whole album of songs called The Garden of Love that are all William Blake's poetry set to her music. Was gonna do one of those, then I ran out of time. Anyway, hi everyone. Hi Jonathan, hi Steven, hi Chris. Chris, I'm going to talk about Eleanor later. You beat me to it. I was gonna save her as a surprise. Um, so here's a song. Um, again, I, I was thinking about how like this set turned out to be about different kinds of love that are not romantic love. And this one is has come to me to be about female friendship. It's a song I used to sing a lot with the Dirty Waltz Band. Um, it's by the hip hop artist Dessa. Um, when I do it, it will not sound like hip hop necessarily. Um, <clears throat> let's see, every time I watch back to this show, I'm like, why am I positioned like this? So I'm gonna try to sit up and sing this song. I really love it. It goes like this. But if they ask me, I ain't heard a thing. Back to the wall, back to the wall, back to the drawing board. Back to the wall, back to the wall, back to the drawing board. Back to the wall, back to the wall, back to the drawing board. Again, 
There was a snowstorm in Jackson when you and I met at a club called St. Sebastian. But the sign said something different. I remember thinking that I didn't have a shot at Mississippi. Television told us which roads they were closing. There goes a rap show. Everyone knew you as the wife of a famous man. Everyone who knew said there goes Dixon's girl again. Even the walls will lean closer when she plays the piano real slow. I met so many women in this business that I really like, like, like You could hold a little liquor, you could hold a conversation, you could hold your own mic Even that night I learned the truth about your man You gotta be big to treat pretty girls bad It's not much, but my money's on you It's not much, but my money's on you It's not much, but my money Not much, but my money Not much, but my money My money's on you Susie, fiddle solo stopped for the drum solo and actually count my way through it. It's almost over. Here we go, and I heard from the rest of the world, you're in trouble. Bad news moves like fire that you fight on the phone. And I'm too far away where my wishing can't touch you, but I think of you still more than you might suppose. Everybody want to see you with your hair down, want to hear you hit the high note, want to see if they can get you for a little less, girl, I don't, I know how the stones can fly, had some hard goodbyes, call me up day or night, free drinks and bad advice, but my money's on you, it's not much, but my money's on you, it's not much, but my money, not much, but my money, not much, but my money, my money, my money's on you. God, I love that song. Dessa, also an amazing artist. Um, hello to everyone who is watching this. This is the Chrysalis. It is a weekly cabaret every Sunday at four. If you are watching it later on Instagram or YouTube, I say hello to you too. Happy post Thanksgiving. Um, one of the things I'm thankful for that someone reminded me of when I was trying to put this set together was that in the before times, I did not, in fact, learn four or five new covers every week and play them for an audience. Um, I played my own body of work and sometimes repeated that same body of work pretty often and people seemed to like it. Um, so I was thankful to remember that I could actually do some of my own songs. Um, and here is one of them. I thought of this immediately. <laughs> because it's about a certain kind of thankfulness. It's been said, you guys, that rejection is God's protection, which rhymes and is therefore cheesy, but I'm, I'm kind of behind it. And what it means is that sometimes you don't get the thing that you want, and then later you're like, thank God I didn't get that thing because something better happened. So go ahead and think of that thing. I'll wait. If you want to, write about it in the comments. There's like five of us today. <laughs> it's very private. I'm gonna say it's the woods and the water I'm gonna call it the drugs and wine I knew a girl didn't get what she ordered And she's doing fine Somebody tell me a really good one Somebody rig me a valentine Cause I know the guy and he can't afford her All in good time And I'm gonna bail on the wild party I'm on the list but I can't get in And everyone's watching me spit into the wind So I'm gonna call it a sleep disorder And yeah, somebody rid me a lullaby Cause I know the guy and he can't afford her And neither can I
to chalk it all up to the drugs and wine. Yeah, I knew a girl didn't get what she ordered, and she's doing fine. Thank you. Yes, JJ, oh my gosh, I count. I count both your mom and you. I count all the people watching it and watching it later. Um, there are no small audiences. Yep. Um, April, oh my gosh, I'm so glad that I could play va Valentine for you and I'm glad that you wrote something because it reminds me to do Corrections Corner, which is that two weeks ago I was doing love songs and I played the song Tender Love, which I thought was a song by Michelle and Diego Otello because I knew her cover of it and I was reminded slash informed that it is actually a song by the group Force MDs from the breakdance movie Crush Groove soundtrack from the early 80s. And it is true, I have seen the video. There are berets, there are earrings, there's smooth harmonies. Um, I was wrong, which means I am still looking for a Michelle and Deggio cello cover to do, so I'm welcoming um, suggestions. Hi, Arlene. Um, welcome to everyone who just got on. Um, JJ, oh my gosh. Nope, don't have it. There's a joke that I could make from your text that refers to a song I'm doing later. Doesn't matter. Um, if you just got on, the beauty of it is that I put up all these shows. I leave them up on Facebook. I post them on Instagram, YouTube later. You can watch from the beginning if you so choose. Welcome to the thanks episode, the Thanksgiving weekend episode of The Chrysalis. Um, so that was a song by me. And you know what? I'm going to do another one. Because this week... I got an email, something I am thankful for, was getting an email out of the blue from someone. My newsletter, by the way, you can sign up at RebeccaHart.net. Um, and the tip jar for this show is Venmo um, at Rebecca-Hart-5. Um, it's in the commenty thing, I think. Um, anyway, someone wrote me that I played a show with years ago who was like, I've been listening to your album Crash and Strum, which I recorded in like 2006, and it was... That's a whole show in itself to talk about the making of that album. It was fraught. Um, anyway, this person wrote to me and said that they were listening to it from beginning to end and they really love it. Um, and I appreciate that. So I'm going to play the title track from that album, uh, which is a song called Crash and Strum, because that's how title tracks work. Which is basically about um, learning that someone's talent is not the same as their personality and that falling in love with their talent is not the same as falling in love with them, which is something I'm grateful to know. Thankful, I should say. Could you see the village street snap like a match under my heels? Baby, Yes, I do. And oh. 
Perfusion of little exploding hearts. That was very exciting. Um, yeah, that is the song Crash and Strum from an album I never think about anymore. Um, like to hear the story, I'll tell you all about it. Welcome, Kristen. Hi, hi, Sean. Um, yes, Megan, listen to it anytime you want. By the way, um, hearing from my sister makes me think of this. I think next week is going to be called Kids, Not for Kids. Um, because I'm going to do a, a show about and dedicated to songs for children, um, which will be kid appropriate, but it's not just for kids kind of show. Anyway, this show is the 32nd episode of The Chrysalis. It's called Thanks, Giving Thanks, Songs of Love, of Not Romantic Love, of All Kinds of Love. Um, this next song is something I wrote with a composer named David Kornfeld, who I went to grad school with. We did a show for the civilians um, called Microcosmos that was about the human brain and your brain on music and your brain on spirituality and a lot of things like that. And um, uh, all of the songs, as usually happens with a civilian show were based on interviews that we did and we transcribed the text and then we made songs and uh, stories out of them and something I'm thankful for in my life is this bottle of water but also um, the way writing kind of has its a mind of its own and surprises you by doing things like we put something together and step back and be like oh that's what it's about um, so we made this show called silent disco um, Sam, thank you for loving Crash and Strum. Um, I should do a, another one-woman show about my life and just do a whole chapter on the making of that record. Um, yes, I was a rock, rocker chick. It's a very rock and roll album. Um, Kristen, thank you. You look amazing too in that picture because this is a world where I stare at myself the whole show and not at you guys, but you can talk to me during the show. So it's like a weird... Anyway, um, we wrote this song called Silent Disco after we did an interview with... Um, a neurobiologist or a neuroscience grad student who had done this experiment of um, doing a silent disco with people where they were had big you know headphones and they were listening to their own music and they were dancing and uh, dancing with each other and afterwards they had to write about their experiences and of course people reported liking the people with whom they could sync up and be synchronetic with and dance in time with best even though there was no way to hear the music and, and sync themselves to the music. And we wrote a song just because we were tickled by that idea. And then later we were like, oh my God, this is a song about all of us and how we're all trying to find a way to resonate with each other and sync up, even though we can't have any way of knowing what's ever going on in another person's head. Um, and it's a song that goes like this. And it has a weird backing vocal that I guess I'm just gonna do by myself. Have you been to the silent disco? Everyone was sharing the same space I heard of that, yeah Everyone was sharing a dance floor And that's important I like you when you dance in time with me You like me when I dance in time with you But I can't hear the music I can't hear the music you're dancing to Down at the silent disco I heard of that, I heard of that, yeah Everyone was hearing the same thing I heard of that, yeah But nobody was hearing the same thing And that's important And I like you when you dance in time with me You like me when I dance in time with you But I can't hear the music you're dancing to I can't hear the music you're dancing to And 
then this was awesome because we went into a round where everyone started that chorus at a different time and it sort of fell apart in a beautiful way which had great meaning i can't hear the music you're dancing to music by david kornfeld uh lyrics by me anyway so you guys I, ha I only have two more songs left how did this happen every week it surprises me my name is rebecca hart this is the chrysalis songs and stories virtual cabaret every sunday at four um, to get on my mailing list, go to RebeccaHart.net. I will send you a little note every week about the theme. Um, if you wish to tip me for this show, Venmo is Rebecca-Hart-5. It's written uh, somewhere on here, I think. PayPal is Rebecca at RebeccaHart.net. Ko-fi.com slash RebeccaHart. Whatever you want to do, we'll work it out somehow. I love playing for you, um, and I will get to that in a moment. But this is the moment I had been waiting for in the set, which was picture me the night before Thanksgiving, making my cake. I'm, I'm making the cake on a pan that doesn't fit in the oven, so I put it in the oven. I'm leaning all my body weight against the oven door to close it, and I figure, what the hell, I can stay here for 10 minutes while it bakes, which is a thing that really happened. Um, and my phone beeps, and it's been beeping all day because my family's texting, but this time it's from bass player Chris Natras from The Wrong Band announcing the birth of his daughter, Eleanor Elizabeth Lind Natras, with a little picture, and it was very exciting, and I just really am telling this story so that I can tell you that I one-handed respond to this while also saving the cake. Um, and also, I love this because I told my family all about it because they know Chris, and for the next like 20 minutes there were all these like texts about Eleanor's name and how awesome it is and how great it is that she's in the world, and um, yay. So Anne and Chris, um, congratulations, and I'm gonna do a song dedicated to you guys and to Eleanor, which may be a little corny, not doing the whole song, but I also want to say that this is my attempt to reclaim this song from the fact that my old band, Rebecca Hart and the Sexy Children, used to play this as my entrance music whenever I walked into rehearsal, which I hated. And um, then, because I hated it, they did it more. And uh, I was like, you guys, I hate this song, and they were like, how can you say that? He wrote it for his daughter, oh my god. Anyway. Welcome to the world, Eleanor. Wouldn't it be awful if I just got her name wrong? I think it's right, though. Isn't she lovely? Isn't she wonderful? Isn't she lovely? Less than one minute old. I never thought through love there'd be one as lovely as she. Isn't she lovely? to welcome a baby to the world um, yeah you guys um, welcome Eleanor I'm so excited to get to know you and just like tell you all the terrible jokes that your dad has taught me um, over time and maybe the guitar so uh, I love you guys this is the last song in the thanks set like I said it sort of accidentally became about um, all those different kinds of love we didn't get to in the last show which was called more love songs and the show before that, which is called Love Songs. Um, and this last one, I was like happy to be able to do a couple of friendship songs. Um, so if you are just tuning in now and you want to go back and watch, I did the song Dixon's Girl by Dessa as a way to shout out to all my lady friends. Um, that song is about female friendship for me. Um, and this song, I'm going to go ahead and say, is about male friendship, even though it was written to be sung by Billy Crystal voicing the appearance of a blue eyeball, singing to his friend um, John Goodman, uh, voicing the appearance of a large fuzzy monster from the movie Monsters, Inc., but it still works. Um, but you guys, tonight, this song is my song for how I feel about you, and maybe this is your song for everybody in your life who um, makes it possible to do the things that you love to do. Um, and I'm, I thought, what a good way to round out the not-as-many-white-men songs <laughs> um, 
What a good way to do it with a cover by Randy Newman. So here we go. If I was a rich man With a million or two I'd live in a penthouse In a room with a view And if I were handsome It could happen Cause dreams do come true I wouldn't have nothing if I didn't have you I wouldn't have nothing if I didn't have I wouldn't have nothing if I didn't have I wouldn't have nothing For years I have envied Your grace and your charm Cause everybody loves you, you know Yeah, I know I know, I know, but I must admit it, big guy, you always come through and I wouldn't have nothing if I didn't have you, you and me together. I never told you this. But sometimes I feel blue. And I wouldn't have nothing if I didn't have you. I wouldn't have nothing if I didn't have. I wouldn't have nothing if I didn't have. I wouldn't have nothing if I didn't have. Thank you guys so much for being here, for coming to all the sets. May we all be playing music together in person someday.